Many people that I work with make adjustments to their lives. But they're often little adjustments, like I won't read the newspaper because the newspaper is full of crap negative news. And six weeks later, because they're all sitting around at the coffee table discussing what's going on in the news, they gradually drift back to reading the newspaper. There's research done in relation to training and the extent to which the effects of training generally wear off within six weeks. And it actually mirrors the extent to which New Year's resolutions generally wear off within six weeks as well. You have to do more than tinker with your life. You have to do more than play around the edges because your life depends on you getting at the heart of the matter. I did a workshop a few weeks ago. One of the guys who did it came back to me and said, I got a load out of that. He said, and I've basically tinkered around the edges. One of the sentences in his email said, I haven't bothered to meditate yet, but I'm sure I'll get around to it. Now, we actually spent most of the day talking about the primary importance of meditation. Your mind, my mind, is loaded with crap. The normal mind is distracted at will. The normal mind dwells on the negative. The normal mind never, ever experiences the reality of the here and now, except perhaps in the odd flash of wonderment, like on the birth of a child, something like that. The normal mind is so undisciplined that it will take a lifetime of committed discipline to bring it into a state where you can, from moment to moment, experience the wonder of life, do the right thing at the right time, throughout the normal day, and completely change the course of your life and positively influence the lives of those around you. That committed discipline is meditation. There is, in my opinion, and in my experience, no other way, no, not better way, no other way, of entering into a state of clear presence of mind. Now, if you do not bother to take a few minutes every morning to enter into a clear and present state of mind, or at least to try for the five or ten minutes, because that is discipline itself, even if you don't achieve it. If you don't take those five or ten minutes, the rest of your day, the rest of your life, is a slippery slope all the way back down to the individual versions of hell that normal people live in. It's your own funeral if you don't take five or ten minutes each morning. Now, as I said to an advanced workshop group a couple of weeks ago, I would suggest that once in a while you don't just take five or ten minutes, but give yourself 30 minutes. Give yourself an hour. I mean, you might say to yourself, oh my God, I couldn't meditate for an hour. Or, oh my God, where would I actually find an hour to meditate? Now, I'm an accountant, so I can't do the math, but there are lots of hours in your life. I know there are 24 hours in the day, and there are 724 hours in a week, and so on it goes. Could it be, could it be, that the rest of your life, all those hours out into the future, could be so different because you just took one to explore what it might be like to get down to the depths of the real you. You won't get down to the depths of the real you in five or ten minutes, but you will get down to the depths of the real you in even five minutes, if you have experienced it even once in the course of a longer meditation. Once you know who you are, once you experience who you are, you can come into communion with who you really are almost in the twinkling of an eye. It might only take 30 seconds. So not only is meditation a necessary discipline, not only is meditation the key to personal effectiveness, not only is committed meditation 
the means by which you will live your best life. But meditation is the gateway through which you can enter into the world of the real you and leave behind the preconceived notional world of the personality you, the one with all your flaws and weaknesses, and for that matter even your perceived strengths. You will never ever fully, fully unleash your own unlimited power until you actually know the unlimited you.